Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another Montreal Canadiens franchise mode episode. We're here sitting right before the draft, one day before the draft, so we're going to start the draft. Now, let's edit the trade block, actually, before we do this. So maybe we can get some offers coming in in the draft. Let's see here. Let's add Hamilton into the draft. And, and not, sorry, not into the draft, but into the trade block, as well as... Petrie, and then we will also add, what's his name here, um, Tatar, okay, Tatar is another player that we're going to add, and then we're going to advance here, oops, sorry, okay, that's it, that'll be your trade block, so we're going to sim to the draft now, we're here at the NHL entry draft, the 2020 entry draft, and the expected first and second overall players are are um, Alexis Lafreniere and uh, what's his name here uh, Quinton Byfield I believe so these are the players that we have so far um, we didn't get to scout Kali Erickson unfortunately he's a defenseman expected to go either fourth or third overall um, but the guy that I have my eyes on is this man right here Oli Ortio hopefully we can get him and we can draft him. So he's expected to go sixth. So we're going to see if any of these teams actually want to give away their pick starting from the Vancouver Canucks, maybe. We're picking 10th overall, like I was saying. So Vancouver doesn't want to give away their pick. Maybe the Florida Panthers. Let's see here. Okay, Florida wants to give away their pick. So maybe we can trade for Florida's. Let's see the Flames is now. Flames doesn't want to give away their pick. And then I think he's expected to go 8th. So if the Sharks want to give away their pick, they do want to give away their pick. Okay, because they're contenders. So let me just make sure again that he's supposed to go 8th overall. Oh, no, he's supposed to go 6th. Sorry. So I think the trade that we need to make is with the Florida Panthers. They're a team in our division, which I ideally would not want to do that trade but um what's it called here we have to try to make it happen guys because um i want to take that defenseman like i said so if we give them a young player like kobisu low elite and a 10th overall for their sixth overall we move four spots and we would be basically get uh, the young defenseman there that would be accepted okay on behalf of the Florida Panthers we accept your trade offer so we didn't trade Tatar yet we traded a low elite but we basically get our hands on the finished defenseman hopefully Lafreniere was picked by the Flyers first overall that's a great pick by them Enroth was picked by the Senators was Enroth supposed to go second I think he was right I think so. I hope so, at least. Anyways, um, let's hope nobody gets Orteo Erickson, medium elite. So he was actually medium elite. That's good for them. For Vegas, they get another medium elite player. Quinton Byfield goes to um, the Vancouver Canucks. And now, let's hope that the New York Islanders get, um, what's his name? Is it, what's his name again? The Swedish guy? Sorry, I'm having Alexander Holtz. So let's hope that they get Alexander Holtz. And they do, Alexander Holtz. Okay, so now we can make our pick. So we have assured that we're going to get Yoni or Oli Ortio, a medium elite player, defenseman. He's supposed to go sixth overall. So we're going to get him, medium elite, perfect. So we, we have gotten him now. Um, now what I want to do, guys, is look for a trade for Thomas Sitar. A player that is on his last, I think he's on his last year of his contract here. He's making 5.3. Yeah, he is, um, it says that he's at two, two years left, but after this is still considered the, like, last season. So we can trade him potentially, Tatar. I'm going to look for a team that may be wanting him that is under the salary cap. So 
I will bring you guys back once I have a potential trade, so give me a couple seconds here. All right, so I'm here trying to make a trade with the Arizona Coyotes, maybe getting uh, this Pierre Joseph, I think, Pierre something, Pierre Olivier Joseph. He is a top four, medium top four, and then we'd give him Tatar and Cam Hellas. Will this go through? Let's see. Trade rejected. Okay, so it's not sufficient at all. So if I add a pick, just give me a second here. All right, so I'm here trying to trade Tatar to the Dallas Stars and then this Henry guy for his second round pick. Let me see if this would go through. I think it may. Just give me a second here. 45th from Dallas. Let's see if this would go through. Trade accepted. MLB accepts this proposal. So we've traded Tatar now. So let's send it up to the next round. Give me a second here. So taking a look at the players selected in the next round here. I mean the next player selected in the first. Nothing that catches my eye too much here. No elites as I can see so far. So pretty weak draft class so far. Okay, this low lead vendor Bush and this other low lead bull. Hogan low lead as well. All right, trying to make a look, trying to take a look, sorry, at the players available for a second round pick. Nothing too interesting so far. This guy though, Rudolf Jar might be a player that I'm maybe looking to get. There are a couple other elites, but we haven't scouted them, so I wouldn't want to take a chance on them. So let me just take a chance on Rudolf Jar. He is a f top four for sure, so low top four. Not exactly what we wanted to see, but it's better than nothing. Let's go up to our next pick here. Oh, no, sorry. I think we have another second round pick, so let's sim to the next second rounder. So, yeah, 14th, so a few picks after that. Let's make a pick here. Let's see if we see anybody else that we like. Um, top 60, top 9, top 60, top 6 forward, low. Not really. Let me go and by potential and see if there's anything that interests me. This guy, the gem, the goalie. Mm. 69th. We are currently in the second round, so we may be able to get him later on in the draft. And then we may we can also get this Christensen guy. But if there's anything, no one else here. Eastern Kearns might be the guy that I'm that I get right now. Low top six though. Low top four for Humphreys. Low top nine. Okay, so I'm gonna get that guy. Hemp Kearns. Eastern Kearns. And then for with our third round pick, I think we have one, right? Let me just simulate to the third round pick. And then we can pick, yeah, we'll pick the goalie here for their third round pick. So we can't miss this guy now. <laughs> the gem. Oh, did someone take the goalie? Are you kidding me, guys? Someone took the goalie. Wow. Someone took the goalie. Raji, was it Raji? Colton Raji. No, it wasn't Raji. Who was it? Whatever the elite is. Oh, wow. Medium lead Bradley Page. Wow, we completely missed this guy here. We hadn't we didn't have him scouted. But where is the goalie? Medium lead Hayes. Oh, this is the goalie, I think. Kelly Hayes. Or no. 
Where is the goalie? Is he in the third round? Was he picked in the third round at the beginning of the third round or what? Let's see here. Uh, starter, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I think it's Scavello. One pick before us. Wow. That is terrible. I'm going to take a timeout just so we have a little more time to see what's out there. What's good as far as potential wise? Let's see. Both of these goalies have two bars for elite. This guy's for sure elite as well. This other guy has three bars for elite. Top four low. He's 179th, so I may just go for this guy, Christensen, just because of the value. 129th. Or should I go and try and gamble for one of these guys here? thinking right now you know what if those guys have the chance to be elite but this guy is for sure elite so I'm gonna just pick him 129th low elite not terrible simulate up to the next draft pick here by the Montreal Canadiens another third round pick good let's take a look again if we can find anything else um, this guy has three bars for elite we may be, I might be tempted to get him. If not, there's also this goalie here. The ranking is supposed to be 99th. Who else? Uh, anything else? This guy's low top four for sure. I may, let me try this guy out. Bryant Baldwin. Let's just try him. Make the pick. What is he? What is the guy? Let's see. Hopefully he's elite. That'll be clutch. Low lead. Perfect. Brian Baldwin. Well, we wanted to see another low lead player. Okay, we're picking fourth round, tenth overall. I mean, yeah, in the fourth round, tenth overall. This guy, Lindback. Should I take a chance on him? Ola Lindback. Let me take a chance on him. We missed on the previous goalie, so let me see. French starter, not what I want to see. Medium French starter, though, so not too bad. Uh, who else? Considering the other picks are, like, AHL players, this is not a bad pick. Uh, fifth round, tenth overall. Let's see. Are there any other interesting elite players here? May, may, I think I'm tempted to take Humphreys now. Len Humphreys. He is for sure low top four, so that's good. <coughs> we have another pick in the fifth round. Let's take a look here. I may be looking to gamble here. Let's see. Is there any other gems or busts? Let's see. Let's take a look nothing so I'm just gonna search by potential and see if there's anything that catches my eye maybe this Thomas Hogland gentleman or Berkvist Hogland I'm gonna try Hogland actually if he is a low elite that'll be perfect low top four not bad actually not a bad pick for the fifth round pick so let's simulate to the next user pick, I think we may have a sixth round pick. Yeah, we do. Let's make the pick. And let's also, let's keep simulating by, um, by potential here again. So, Bergvist is here. Or Gera. I'm trying to think here. I may try Gera and then Bergvist in the next round. So, or Bergvist. Gera. I'm gonna go with Gera. Center. Low top six. Not terrible. And then I think we should be at our last pick here. Oh no. 27th in the sixth round. Hopefully that defenseman is there still. He may not be anymore though. So. Oh no, he is. Okay, so we're gonna pick him. Par Bergvist. I doubt he is elite because he only had one bar. Seventh defenseman, that, that was not a good pick. But for the sixth round, that's not terrible. And then lastly, 
Uh, let's go here, potential again. And let me see here, French starter, top nine. I think I may take a chance on the goalie here. Uh, but he's trending down, isn't he? You know, I'm going to take a chance on the goalie. If he's a French starter, it's not terrible. Backup, medium backup, not terrible. And I think that may be the last pick that we have. Okay, so that's that was the end of the draft. So another successful draft, I think, in my opinion. Orteo, Jar. So we for sure got one medium elite and Orteo. Then a few top fours and then a few low elites. So that's a pretty good draft, if you ask me. Um... And I think that's it, guys. Let's just go and simulate all the way to the C, the resign stage here. We have a few players that we need to resign, including Max Domi. So I will show you guys the contracts, and then I will resign the players that need to be resigned. So this is the Baldwin. This is a player that we drafted this year, Brian Baldwin, low elite in the third round pretty good uh, and then who else Orteo this is the man that I wanted to see sixth overall low or medium elite so that's crazy good uh, let's see again let me take a look here I'm, made, uh, I'm gonna sign Hamilton just because he is medium elite on a two-way contract 52 not crazy good but it would be good to have him um, I may also sign Ryan Suzuki. No, I'm going to wait until next year. Samuel Hood, bottom six, 62 overall. So I'm not going to sign him. I may sign Riley. I'm going to get rid of this guy, though, Elanen. He's a good prospect in real life, but not um, not in the game. So I'm just going to take a look at all these guys quickly. Um... Nobody's too good here that needs to a signing. Maybe Mike Riley, just for insurance purposes. But the big players that we might are gonna have to sign is Julson. Let's see how much he wants. So he wants a one year two way, so that's good. I'm gonna give him that. Domi, he may want a little bit of a big contract. Five point six five oh. So if I give him if I give him five millions for four years, let's hope he accepts that. Benning, I'm gonna look to resign. So that's quite a bit of money. So if I give him three million for two years, he would be your bottom pairing defenseman there. Maybe I may sign him. How much salary cap do I have? I have twenty million, so that's not terrible. Um Mete's gonna need a contract one way for two years so if i give him 1.5 for mete and then sherbeck is going to need another contract so he's going to want more so it looks like he's going to grow so i'm going to give him 4.4 for two years if i give him 4.275 for two years let's hope he accepts that value average demo and that's about it okay so I'm actually going to offer these players some contracts, and I'll bring you guys back once that's done, so give me a second. Alright guys, so Matt Benning accepted, Victor Mete accepted as well, Sherback rejected, he wants a little bit more money, Jolson accepted, Domi rejected, he also wants a little bit more money, and then Hamilton accepted. So I'm going to sign the rest of the players, and I'll bring you guys back once uh, either they accept or they reject it, so give me a second here. Alright, so... I advanced today. Mike Riley said he wanted a two-way contract, but then he's rejected because he wants to test a free agent market. Sherback accepted. Domi accepted. Clendenning accepted. Chapu rejected. He wants to test a free agency market. Valley have accepted. McCarran accepted. Myers accepted. Lemieux accepted. Sanford accepted. Orteo accepted. Our first round pick. Cam Hillis accepted. Vishdemo accepted. Olsen accepted. Lindbaum. So that's 
most of our players, I think, now. Um, I may have to try and sign Riley for a bit more. But I also want to save some cash because I'm going to show you the free agents that are in here. And I think that those players um, are pretty interesting in my opinion. So let's give me a second here. Okay, Riley, we're going to let go for now. Oud, no. Delory as well. Shapu, no. Okay, McShane, low top nine. So I'm not going to sign him. So, okay, that's. I think that's good. That's enough for free. <clears throat> not for free agency, sorry, for uh, the contracts that we have. I want to show you. Oh, okay, I guess I can't show you the um, pending free agents. I looked at it right after uh, the first day, and Falk. Justin Falk, Tyson Berry are still supposed to be free agents, so I'm going to simulate, and even Pietrangelo is there too, so he may be a player that we may be looking to get as far as, um, anyways, as far as um, free agency is looking like. I think we have nine point something million dollars to offer. Uh, oh, it looks like some of these players were actually re-signed, unfortunately, guys. Not what I wanted to see. I was banking on maybe Pietrangelo um, not re-signing with them. And that didn't, that didn't happen. So Nicholas Backstrom is here, though, but I'm not going to sign Backstrom. Dadanoff, Schultz. Schultz is a top four. He's 81. How much would he want? He may be a player that I may be looking to get if I give him just the one year. I don't know how good is Schultz though. Faxa, VC, Sabaka. So all these players were actually the players that I was trying to get was either Justin Falk or um what's his other guy's name? Uh Tyson Berry. Those were the main two guys that I was looking to trade or sign. And then the main guy was Pietrangelo, but I wasn't really trying to sign him because, you know, he's probably going to ask for at least $9 million. So we have the second tier of um, of players here. I don't, nobody really excites me too much here. Uh, the one that may I may be interested in is Justin Schultz, but I don't even know how much he, how good he is. And I don't want to sign them for too much. Let me see his stats last year. What, are, what were the stats last year? Full career stats. 27 points, 27 points, 51 points in 2016-17. But since we started the simulation, he's only had 27 points. I think he may be around 82-83. Uh, he has top four exact right now. So if we sign him for two years at 5.5 I wonder if that would go th that would actually interest him let's just send it and see what he says uh, he's gonna reconsider his options and talk to us later and I, I didn't check for goalies actually in contracts I hope we didn't lose anybody too important for us I think let me just take a look at our goalies I know we have Picard and Price that are still signed I think we may have lost our AHL goalies, though. Let me take a look here. Yeah, we only have Picard and... Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Let me go... Yeah, not main roster. In the system. Okay, we have... Yeah, we lost... Um, what's his name here? Um, what's the guy's name that we lost? McNiven. So we're going to try and find a goalie and free agency here, guys. So we, we made an offer for Schultz and now for free agents, goalies. Let me sort by potential. And I'm going to try and sign this guy, maybe. And do we have any but French starter? French starter. This guy is basically 74, around that at least. So he, he's going to be for sure better than McNiven. So if we give Kakinen. A one-year deal um, Minnesota Wild so we wouldn't have to give them any <clears throat> any picks sorry that may go through if not we'll look for other goalies um, now for other players because because obviously 
uh, Minnesota might match. So now for players, is there any good players here? Let's try and sign Seneshan. I know he is a a player, a young player, right wing. He has decent low top six. So if we sign him, then Edmonton doesn't doesn't resign him. Then we can get him for nothing, basically. Uh, getting top four. Let's offer a contract to him. Entry level contract. Let's try and sign him. Who else? Uh, Chera, no. Remy Ellen, no. Olofsson, is that one of our players? Victor Olofsson? No. But uh, if we sign, oh, he wants a one way, no, thank you. Uh, Faxa, no. Nicholas Ra, we might sign him. He has decent potential. Low, oh, low top nine, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to see here. This guy, Rudolf Balkers, I remember him. He's been traded by. Um, San Jose in the Carlson trade, but no, he's not worth it. Chaplick, low top nine, no. Okay, so maybe if they're medium top nine, I would go for them, but nothing is too good here. I think I'm just going to simulate the next day, oh, one day, and see if Schultz accepts or if any of these other prospects accept as well. So let's simulate one day, nothing so far. Another day, nothing. Third day, will Schultz? No, nobody. So Schultz rejected. He went with the Vancouver Canucks. I had maybe an idea he would have gone. Seneshin actually accepted, though. But we have to wait until um, if Edmonton wants to give him, him an offer. Ginning actually didn't sign with us either. And then Kakinen rejected. So we didn't get to sign anybody, unfortunately. Wow, that's terrible. My plan failed earlier. I uh, wanted to sign... Um, What's his name here? Um, well, one of those defensemen, like I was saying, either Falk or uh, the other guy. I can't remember his name right now. But that didn't happen, so that was just a big fail in my opinion. Let's see if we can sign a player maybe to play in our top in our top six. With the Dels, I don't know. I want to know. I want to sign a player that we know for sure is overall. I don't want to sign Chara for four years. That's way too much money. Kevin Miller makes 79. There's 70 and everybody makes 2.6. That's not good. I'm thinking maybe Sabaka. How much does he want? 2 million or VC? I think VC would be the player that I'd be looking to get. He, I think he's around 80 overall. And he's a exact top 9. So he can play in our third line. Make it better. I'm going to sign him for one year. And then if he's not good enough, we can trade him in the trade deadline and get a pick for sure. So 2.50. He may also be able to replace the tar if he is around the 81, 82. Let's hope he is. One year, 2.250. We don't lose anything. It's just money. Uh, Josh Anderson, medium top six uh, overall. If we sign him as well, he may be able to take on to tar's position as well so 2.50 for one year as well or 2.3 for one year and then if he's not good enough we can always trade him and i think that's it i don't see anybody else as far as defensemen here that interests me so let me just simulate one day and we'll see what happens here guys Okay, so Zach Seneshin is not going to be coming to the Montreal Canadiens. The Edmonton Oilers matched the offer, so not what I wanted to see. Josh Anderson accepted. Perfect. And Jamie Vc accepted as well. So we're going to have to wait until next um, next episode to see uh, what these players are like because we obviously have to play them and then see um, how good they are. So centers right now we have Sagan, Drouin, Dano, Udon. Rodriguez and Suzuki. Suzuki's up to 78 now, so that's great news. Uh, he's going to hopefully play in the NHL. In the system, we have Kakaniemi, Paling, Hillis, Vesdemo. So if those guys can grow, they can come up to the NHL. Uh, but it looks like Duran's going to be your second line center again. Left wingers, Domi, 84, VC. 
top nine so that's another option that we have if Lekanen doesn't grow and then in the system we have no one really and then for right wingers we have Gallagher sure back up to an 83 that's good news Anderson maybe your third line Armia and Shaw and then in the system we have no one really again and then for defense Clefbaum, Petrie, Depre, Benning, Jolson, and Mete. Uh, hopefully Mete can grow. We've given him a big contract, so 1.5 million, so hopefully he can grow. And in the system, we have Lindbaum, Glendening, no one really too crazy. I want to take a look at the player that we signed, Ortio here. He's medium elite, so hopefully he is a stud. And then for goalies, same goalies as last year. And I think, I don't think we even signed a goalie. So actually, let me go and sign a goalie. And that'll be the last of the episode here. Because uh, it's gone for quite a bit. We, we've we done the draft, the re-sign stage, as well as, uh, what's it called? As well as the uh, free agency. So let me just try and sign a good goalie for the AHL quickly. Riddich, no, Bressois. I saw a couple guys that were pretty young here. Uh, let me go into potential. Where are the good guys that I was looking at earlier? Oh, I don't know where they are anymore. Anyways, let me just try and sign this guy. Booth. I have no idea if he would be worth, if he'd be good enough. Oh, Oscar Dance could be a player, goalie that I would actually like to sign as well. So, uh, Two years one way, though. One year, one way. <clears throat> Let me try that. And then we'll just bury him in the AHL. So, no worries there. Let's see if he'll accept that. Let's advance a few days. And then after that, that'll be the end of the episode, guys. Because it's gone for too long, like I was saying. Okay, Booth accepted. Let's hope that Dansk accepts as well. And then he accepted. So, add those two goalies to the AHL. And what I showed you is also what the team's going to be looking like. So, uh, let's see. Let me browse the trading block, and so that can give you guys some ideas of who may be available around the NHL. And then if you guys see a player, maybe a top top defenseman that may be interested, it's interesting to us, or maybe a top six forward, because obviously, as I was showing you guys, we had to sign. Um. Anderson and who was the other guy? Jimmy VC for potential second line replacements. But we will see. Uh, Faxa doesn't have a contract, and so we may be able to trade for him. Meet him top 9, 26. Uh, he may be 80 or something, so I don't know if he'd be worth a trade for. Uh, who else? Sakara? No. Weber's on the trade block, unfortunately, for the Edmonton Oilers. Martinez? No. He'd be a little too much. Lad, no. Shattenkirk only has one year, 83 though. No, so he wouldn't be good enough, I think. Kunako, no. Alsner's on the block, so it looks like he might have dropped now pretty significantly. He has one bar, 80 overall, so that sucks. Uh, nothing here. Vlasic's on the line, on the block, I mean. Top four, Burns is on the block as well, and Dylan is on the block too. Kairu is still on the block. Might be looking to trade for him. He's been on the block for a while, but you guys let me know. Colin, Petrus Palmo, and Reed Boucher. Eric Halla is on the block. I mean, on the block. If I can scout him and see if he may be able to be your second line center, I don't know yet. It's basically the same players, guys. Um, you guys saw on the trade block. Nothing too interesting that fits our needs. But in the next episode, we're going to start the second season, guys. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah.